there was never a question in my mind that I was going to make it and that this is my destiny and that we were all going to make it as the kids of this city, as the New York generation. My faith in my creativity and my artistry has nothing to do with making it because we kind of had already made it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> when we were playing for nothing downtown, it was still like we'd made it. We still felt like we were superstars. Uh, can I have a coffee? What size? A large. Actually, make it a small. I don't got no money. You know, I look out into that crowd and I'm like, when the fuck did this happen? <laughs> how did this happen? How did this, how did, who created this? Because I, I didn't create this. I for sure didn't. It's, it's, it's God. It's for sure Jesus. It ain't me because I'm not ridiculous enough to think for a second that I'm that powerful. The monster ball now is reality. We attacked the whole world so profusely for three years until the monster ball became real. It's a coup. It's a coup d'etat. It's a coup de monde. Coup de monde. Coup of the world. Yeah, we just told lie after lie after after surreal dream after moment. You can do it. You can do it. You can be it. And then we woke up one day and we were like, oh God, we are. It worked. it worked. I told so many people for so long that I was a superstar and I wasn't. And one morning I woke up and the delusion was real. I get to live my dream and I get to hopefully live the dream in a way that inspires other people to live their dreams. I always knew I, it was my destiny, but I didn't know what destiny meant until I saw my fans, until the birth of the little monsters. They are, they are destiny. They are the truth. They are my reason for everything. I'm still the same person that I was six years ago before all of this happened, and I still walk down the same streets and go to the same delis and I drink my coffee the same. I always want a little dirt on my shoe. I always want one more stair well to climb. I always want to have to walk up a walk up, you know, and not have an elevator built into my walk up to survive. Because I think that's when you lose focus is you forget, you forget how you got to the top. And once you forget how you got to the top, you forget everybody that helped you, and you forget everything that inspired you, and then you wake up one morning, and that inspiration and that creativity gives you a one old middle finger. It says, you, you forgot me. You denied me. And I'm the reason for you. So I'll fuck myself up all the way to the top. Just to keep it real. You passing Madison Look at that. Sold out. Oh, Lady Gaga, oh, I can't believe it's you. Thanks. Oh my God! Oh my God! I love oh, you. Do you know how many times I came to this arena? I saw everybody, and now they're opening these gates up for us. <laughs> Get ready, New York City. Lady Gaga's a star. Dear Lord, thank you so much for bringing us here today. We feel so humbled every day that we get to experience what we experience on this stage. Any doubt, any fear, any lack of confidence that we have must now wash away. We must be brave, Lord. Please teach us in your way to have courage, to know our own greatness, and to inspire everyone in that room tonight to be brave for themselves and to follow their dreams. They used to always tell me, you will never be the main star because you're too ethnic, you're too Italian, you're, you're too out there. Let's go. 
doesn't matter who you are or where you come from or how much money you've got in your pocket. You have your own destiny and your own life ahead of you. We've been asked to play the garden five times. For us to go all the way around the world, for all of this to have happened, and there's little monsters in those seats all dressed up and excited to see us. What a gift. And I don't ever want to for a moment take it for granted.